home they kick at. Here we are down in uh, Kosovo. That's right, Kosovo at Cafe Dream On. Cafe Dream which On. Which has a wonderful view of Tonglawan. 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 Beautiful place. There you go. And uh, we're sitting here today with some really special Kit Kats. Thank you to Sean Humphreys. These are home baked Kit Kats. We literally have to bake these in an oven. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we have to cook our own Kit Kats. We are going to cook our own Kit Kat. Literally, we are going to bake these in an oven. And I have come prepared, Joe Fiorello, <laughs> with. An oven! <laughs> I literally bought the oven from one of the little toaster ovens from my house and I've carried it down to Cafe Dream On in Kosovo oh where we're going to bake goodness. our own Kit Kat. It's a little dirty and gross. I haven't used it in about two years. Hopefully it won't blow up. I, I got to wonder, what about this Kit Kat in particular makes it that you need to bake it? Is yeah, it like, could you bake know. any Kit Kat? Or does this have special ingredients that make it... Uh, what, what happens when like you bake something and you like you, it, it there's like a verb to describe the, the baking process huh it bakes it bakes, <laughs> it bakes. <laughs> that's the verb <laughs> well no but I mean like you know there's like yeast in like a baked product to make it like rise well, so is there beer, like beer Joe yes <laughs> when beer no beer and like you know like baked products you know like it, it to rise up it needs like the yeast inside so is there a rising <laughs> yeast functionality of this Kit Kat oh or is it just basically a Kit Kat that's packaged to bake? Okay. That's why I really want to find out. This is a clarify for the audience at home. There are baked products that don't have yeast. So this is the Kit Kat before it gets baked and then presumably we put it in for a short amount of time and we end up with uh, these bad boy baked things here. Okay. So I'm going to remove a couple of these uh, baked right. Kit Kats for you Let's here, Joe. And Here's it, one. And Here's I know it's a little, another. I know it's kind of semantics, but just looking at the picture. Here's another. It actually looks more broiled than baked. Here's another. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And here's Maybe another. The home audience oh, wait, there's still better. more. There's oh, a wait, lot. there's a lot. And here's another. Oh, we plan on going we through a, all we these baked bake Kit Kats. We're going to bake these Kit Kats. Maybe we should try baking a couple first and see if it works. So the exact instructions are you uh, put the Kit Kats in the oven, you turn it on, you bake it for exactly two minutes without preheating. That's Puppy. what they said. Oh. But we also have to watch them and see when they turn golden brown to the level that we want. And then that's the final judgment. What if they? What if this sets on fire? I yes, we could die. <laughs> this oven could blow up. This is a big risk. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Here's our tray. As you can see, the cute little Kit Kats are all wrapped up individually, as oh, per yeah. the normal Japanese style. Joe has about a million of them, and here's a little picture of an oven on this one, showing us presumably what we have to do. Let's open these up and see what it looks like inside. Oh, I'm making a bit of a mess there. Wow. Oh gosh, oh, that's a, looks that's like a, it's a fucked up looking Kit Kat. They're kind of like melted there already. It's a little Did mess up. Let's keep these two back in case we need them later. That's cool. All right, it's time to get bacon. Time to bake in the oven. Belt temperature more. set to who knows what. Turn Wait, it up. Wait, so it doesn't say what the temperature? Nope. Oh, it doesn't goodness. say anything. It literally says throw it in the <laughs> oven and bake for two minutes. Okay, here we yeah. are. We're here with our oven again, back in Kosovo. We've been baking these for about two, three hours now, right, Joe? Yeah, something like that. No, two, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we think they're probably ready. We're gonna pull them out and we're gonna see what happens. Prepare to get our hands burnt and all okay. kinds. You ready to see these up close and personal? Okay, cool. And then hold on, we're just gonna pull these bad boys out. All right, don't burn yourself. There we go. Now look at that. Look at that. Those that look looks awesome like delicious. What? Baked good. goodness. Baked Kit Kats. Look at that. They're yeah. actually properly baked. This Thank is awesome, you. man. Home baked Kit Kats. It smells good, man. It smells like a like a cross between French toast and a shortcake. Yeah, it's got a it's mm. got like a somewhat of a pastry smell and like a puddingy smell as well. Yeah. They're a little hot. Woo. Should we? Let's take okay, our I'm lives gonna, into our own hands. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cut it like like this. That's right. <laughs> That's up. right. You've completely I cut it even, the wrong direction. Look, look at this. It's falling apart. You've got like bits of crap here and bits inside. There's not even any point in eating this anymore. You like ruined a, a baked Kit Kat. I'm going to eat a Kit Kat as they intended. Cheers, Joe. Good luck. Cheers. Come on. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Mm, that's actually really good. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And the baked like. You know, mm. it being baked kind of like really brings out like the taste. Yeah, it's like crispy and sweet and 
it's like I don't even know how to describe it. It's like between a, a, a cake and a biscuit and a pudding all mixed into one. Yeah, all mixed into one. It's like sweet. It's got like the kind of like a, like a biscuit texture. Oh, it's delicious. Uh, we haven't tried the unbaked version You want to do yet. it? I'm kind right. of curious to see like what's the difference because I suspect, this is my suspicion, that like it actually wouldn't taste as like as like fantabulous if it was just unbaked. We're gonna try the unbaked version here, which we're kind of nervous about. So uh, cheers. cheers, let's see if this works. It tastes like a creamy Kit Kat. Yeah, by maybe itself. like a sort of a white chocolatey Kit Kat. Like a little extra kick inside, uh -huh. but yeah, basically like a white chocolate Kit Kat. It's okay. okay. Actually, the unbaked version is fine, um, but the baked version is way better. Yeah, it's actually way better. really good with baked. Mm -hmm. And all the, um, the fragrance and smell comes off yeah. there. You were saying it tastes almost like French toast. Yeah. Cross with like pudding or cheesecake or I don't know. It's like yeah, um, yeah it's really weird. Really yeah, it has like I don't know. It's weird. It, it tastes like everything and 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 everything all at once. You know, it's, it's like it's wild. I think you even got a little taste of vanilla in there. A little taste of vanilla, just a little. Bit. I really liked it. I mean, the the whole process of bacon, I thought was a fun like kind of like way to kind of enjoy a Kit Kat. I thought that was a little different. And um, yeah, I mean, just the taste and everything, the fragrance, this is awesome. Two thumbs up. Yeah, it's a BYOO Kit Kat. Bring your own oven Kit Kat and <laughs> picnic around anywhere. Lots of fun, home baked Kit Kat. I'd say definitely two thumbs up for that, yeah? Yeah. Home, home baked, baked Kit, Kit Kat, Kat two, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Home-baked Kit Kat! Too low again. Too low? Three, two, one, action! Home-baked Kit Kat!